All right, people, we're going to talk about something semi-important. But uh, okay, yesterday they were talking about the January 6th insurrection, as they call it, right? Or the attack on the Capitol. Uh, but the first thing is funny. It's like, here's the U.S. government. The big, bad U.S. government's gone in. You know, they defeat terrorism and ISIS and go in and get Bin Laden and all, these, all this stuff, right? And they're big, bad... U.S. government, U.S. military, shit like that, right? And now they're like, ooh, they're hurting us. <laughs> you know? But that's the government. That's the government, right? Like, like here, take a little microcosm of that, right? Like, if you're in the Army, the U.S. Army, and you smoke marijuana, which is a big no-no in there, right? But if you smoke marijuana and they bring you up, they happen to bring you into trial or anything happens, the government, the U.S. Army lists themselves as the victim. Because you smoke pot, they are the victim. <laughs> so it's like, whoa. Okay, so, so, uh, little underling so and so from Podunk Town in Iowa or whatever, right, is gonna bring down the U.S. Army with a single joint. It's, you know, it's like they do all these things and they turn around, like, if you do something like that, like, eh, they're hurting us. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> you know? So, anywho, so let's go to the, the January 6th insurrection. Now, this is closely tied to voting. Because that's what it was all about, right? Trump says, hey, you know, we won. And, and other people, apparently, they were convinced that they were right. And now, see, this is an interesting part. Because it's written in the Constitution, which they don't abide by anyway, right? We can see this all the way around us. But uh, the, uh, when the people deem the government's not working anymore, they have the right to overthrow it and start a new one or whatever, something like that. So, yeah, I realize I've... We're some working knowledge of all this, but anywho, but that's why I don't pay much attention to politics or anything like that, but I do, I, I, I kind of dip my finger in it and look at it from the outside, which is very, very different, very interesting, right? So I don't vote and I never have and I never will because I don't, I'm not convinced it works. And I've seen my, over my lifetime where middle class was like biggest up and coming class for a while. And if voting actually worked, all these people that were the majority, if they voted for what they wanted, which the, the middle class America, all they wanted was, you know, their white picket fence, their house and their car and their job. That's, Maybe they wanted a little bit more, but mostly they just wanted what they had already. They didn't, but now there's less of that. So I'm not convinced we're voting. You see, we're voting is, and things have gotten worse and stuff. Now let's go back. You know, there's so many things about voting that doesn't work anyway. Like I remember when it was, uh, Gore and Bush and they first they announced, it, I remember that I was in Myrtle Beach and they announced at first that Gore had won. And then all of a sudden, oh, no, 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 Bush won. And then there was the hanging chads thing. They're, you know, oh, we got to look at these hanging chads and, and see if it's here or there. But there's no shortage of these stories about voting and how flawed it is, especially like yesterday they were talking about that as well with the voting. And, uh, like, lately they said, oh, the mail-in ballots, right? And they're talking about, oh, you got to write the date on it. I'm like... If you mail it, it gets postmarked for one, right? Where are we back in first grade? Make sure you put your name and an and address or date up top, right? But seriously, it's like when you mail it, it gets postmarked. Everything that goes through the U.S. Postal Service, which is like the one thing that has been the consistent, right? I mean, my bills have no problem reaching my front door no matter where the fuck I'm at, right? And at three times faster than any checks, right? Seriously, so here's the U.S. government. They're supposed to be in charge of this shit, right? So, you know, I, I me looking at it from all from the outside, it's like I just see it's like a, a big a big complex shell game, right? Or three-card Monty, right? And people don't – I some people are waking up and they're understanding what a goof it is but, and how, what on purpose of a goof it is, right? And you got some people are just scared shitless, right? And maybe that's the way it should be, but – I don't know. I, I still don't see anything that's going to change. It'll just, it'll just keep rolling along, rolling along until it can't no more. But as far as I'm concerned, like the January 6th was a failed insurrection, right? A failed coup. You know, they, they call it insurrection. I, I just called it a failed coup at that point. But I have a feeling it's going to be tried.
try it again. They're going to try it again. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they're going to try it a different way. But I personally don't feel that that's the right way to do it. You know, going in and being aggressive and making sure, getting people hurt and stuff. I think there's a different way you can go about it, right? But like, you know, it, like, and a lot of people that are in in the middle of the voting, it's it's different because like I don't get in the middle. I don't study all those little intricacies, and it's kind of like I, I let's do a. Uh, a little simple analogy, right? Now, everybody knows, like, if you want something, you can go to Walmart and buy it. Okay, that's easy. You know, it's like voting, okay? And and you do, actually, that is a kind of form of voting with your dollars, right? So you, if you go to Walmart or a different store to pay your dollars. But anyway, so, so knowing how to go to Walmart and buying something, that's easy. But knowing how it all goes together, you know, it's like, you know, there's all these different suppliers. There's people that made it overseas or whatever. It got shipped here. There's people on the phone calling about this and that. Where's my shit? You know, all these, all the supply chain or whatever. So there's all these things that people don't know that aren't aware of what's going on that's what i see with voting but you know here's president trump he says he says it's, it's a hoax folks he, i was like whoa i was like he actually told the truth i was like wow here we, here we go and that's one reason why because he told the truth and but nobody wants to believe it but you know this is the world we live in now they, they feed us full of lies and bullshit so when they do tell you the truth you're like you don't believe it you're like no <laughs> but he told the truth he's it's a hoax folks and you and i see i was like yeah, they tell us all the time and then, oh there's all these things I, I, you go back and look i mean they tell us all the time people forget this i think I see it all the time. There's, oh, there's this problem with voting. There's that problem with voting. There's this. Oh, okay. And it's, 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 you know, this is the first time someone up top called him, called it out. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, this is interesting, but you know, it, it's just, it's just hilarious. But I see no, I was like, they're telling us all the time how voting is all fucked up and how they're worried about this. And it's, it's like, how can they get anything done? There's always something going wrong with it, right? It's like having a vehicle that's in the shop more than it's in your more than it's on the road or something. I mean, seriously, that's what it reminds me of. Another good analogy is our voting system. It's like having your having your car more in the in the at the garage than driving it. You know, <laughs> if you, if you, you have to spend more time working on it than driving it. It's no good no more, man. I think some people are noticing. Than that they're getting sick of driving these old dilapidated cars they want something better but anywho that's funny that's that's uh that's my uh story my rant for today have fun people <laughs> a lot of people are just not paying attention and i can only pay attention so much but there, there's there's so much more going on and people are in for a, a hell of a surprise <laughs> you know oh boy <laughs>